stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the killed in 2011 and that was pretty scary because we would our base would get attacked like on a nightly basis and then anytime you'd be flying around you know you, you, we were we were pretty concerned and anytime you're flying around in Afghanistan you're in night vision goggles and you can't see the runway until you're about 100 feet over how far is it to uh, transition back into civilian life after getting out uh, it, it can be challenging I mean I was deployed I was out of the country for about two and a half years, so coming back here was a pretty big culture shock. And also, civilians move very slow, and something I'm just not, I wasn't used to, I'm like, why does it take so long for you to hand me this? Like, like come on guys, let's move. And that just, it, it was tough for me. I got out of active duty, my last day of active duty was February 1st, 2020. So I got out of active duty and the world ended, the pandemic. So I went from a very structured, regimented life for seven years into staying at home, uh, learning to do my job from home. It was hard. Uh, no matter what job you're in, I, I believe all the same things go along with you. You know, people aren't from every same background as you, so everyone's different. You gotta work, uh, you gotta learn to work well with others. Yeah. Go ahead. Adaptability of just being comfortable with change and, and doing something different. You might have a good plan and it's going to change and you got to be okay with that. It's essential that we take not only days like Veterans Day to recognize those who made a, a, an immense sacrifice for us here in our country.